is so stuck. Ah, Edna! What on earth are you still doing up? Oh, Leon's. I was just sitting outside. I, I don't really feel like much like coming in. Really? Well, you should come into bed. No, I'd, I'd rather not. I'm just brushing up on some oh, reading. Goodness. Well, uh, I guess I'll stay out here with you then. Drink? Oh, no. No, thank you. <laughs> You're lost. <sighs> Oh. No, those are terrible for your health, don't you know? Oh, that's ridiculous. They won't find that out for years. <sighs> oh. Do you realize it's past dawn? Listen, I'm just gonna go inside now. Well, I think I'll finish my cigarette. You're not coming in? No. Uh. Insane woman. She's moving out! Well, I'm finally getting out of this godforsaken house. Alright, Dear Mademoiselle Reese, I'm having a very good time in Mexico. Yeah, very good food. Yeah. There's a new invention called the taco. It's quite delicious. Yes. Uh, but I am missing Edna quite terribly. I don't know how much longer I can go on without her. I fear that I may have to come back and come for her. Edna, I love you. Oh, Robert. I feel the same way. Edna, Madame Ratanola is looking for you. She is ill. I must go. I will be back. Oh, Edna. What about the children? Take care of the children. <laughs> Hold my hand. Goodbye, because I love you. It's a letter from Robert. Goodbye, because I love you. He just doesn't understand me like I thought he did. No man can understand me. I'm done with this. a horrible woman. Zena? I know what I would do if I was Ethan Frome. <laughs> okay. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. <laughs> <laughs>